Uh, good morning, folks. How are you all doing? Uh, this is Greg, and I thought I'd do a quick little video on what I've sort of always liked to do with a lot of my photographs is uh, stick Easter eggs on them. And an Easter egg can be anything from a rat to a bat to a cat to a hat to a dog with a really long red tongue looking evil, um, evil faces. Uh, a lot of times I'll stick Waldo, actually Waldo, in, in my pictures if the picture's busy enough. And then I wait to see if, if folks notice it. As often, if, if they notice an Easter egg, then they start to look at my pictures a little more closely. And it, I don't know, I kind of like it because uh, it, um, it sort of makes it a little bit more, more interesting. Uh, Instead of just the, the usual, you know, storyline and uh, 20 pictures to look through and blah, blah, blah. Um, so it kind of makes it uh, interesting. So what I'm doing right now is I'm doing um, the uh, barn of the house that I posted yesterday where I kind of did a little bit of a horror story thing to go with it. And I had some Easter eggs in it. Um, and what happened in this barn, I'll show you. Well, oh, maybe I closed it. I probably closed it. Yeah, I did. I'm going to open it up. What happened in this barn was uh, um, the only thing that, that, well, it didn't scare me, but the only freaky thing that in, in that house that I was in was that it was so damn dark. It, it was pitch black. And uh, it, it kind of gets to you after a little while because you have no peripheral vision. All you can do is see what's directly ahead of you but you know that behind you and on each side of you is nothing but dark. And you don't know what's there, especially what's behind you. And you only find out when you turn around and you point your flashlight that way. Anyways, so when I walked into this barn, it's out in the back of that, uh, that uh, decaying house. Um, it looks like a hangar. Uh, a rabbit came flying out. I have the photograph because it, it turned around right away and took a picture of where he came from. Uh, sorry, I'm just going to see if I can find where that picture is. Uh, there it is. I'd already edited it, so I closed it. But if you can see right in the corner in here, there's some bags or something. I think it was, I don't know what it was, cement or something, cement dust. And I had just come in. There's an open door over here in the, in the barn, side of the front of the barn. I just walked in, and this rabbit, jackrabbit or whatever, flying out of there, scared the living daylights right out of me. Almost dropped it all in my pants right there. <laughs> so it's funny what, what you know scares people when uh, you're out uh, exploring. People always ask me, well, do you ever find any squatters? Do you find uh, this and that? And I'm like, no, but I had a pigeon scare the crap out of me once. And, and actually I have. There have been three things that scared the crap out of me. And one was a pigeon. The other one was a barn owl that I thought was going to take my head off. And, uh, and then this rabbit. And I don't know where he went. He, I think he took, a, he took off underneath the door over there or something. I don't know. But anyway, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how uh, I noticed uh, a member had posted that it's photoshopped. Uh, uh, the uh, that dog thing that I put into uh, one of the house photographs. It's not actually Photoshop because I don't use Photoshop. Um, what I use is a, a graphics program called Corel Photo Paint, and it's part of the Corel Draw graphics uh, suite. And it's it basically it's Canada's version of Adobe Photoshop. So it's Adobe Photoshop's competition on this side of the border. So I've, I've never, but I've used Photoshop. I wouldn't mind learning it, but I, I know this program, Corel, so well that there's really no point spending the money to go in and learn how to how to use Photoshop. Even though I think Photoshop's probably probably better than this program, but I, I get by with this one. I do a lot of um, T-shirt designs, uh, logos, graphic designs, but I use another program. You know, this is their Photo Paint program. Uh, but they have a vector draw program which I, I use and I, I do a lot of vector work anyway so I'm gonna show you how I get these uh, these uh, odd little images that I call Easter eggs onto a, a photograph 
So because it was a rabbit that scared the crap out of me in this barn, and I'm, I'm getting all the barn photos ready for to upload them, um, I thought I'd look for the ra the killer rabbit that was in uh, the Monty Python movie, one that, that killed all the knights, right? I don't know, I think there was a whole bunch of them. Anyway, this is a stuffed animal, and it's one of the, it's the killer rabbit that was in Monty Python. I, I didn't know they had one, I just found it on uh, the internet. There's, uh, there's a whole bunch of them in here. So, uh, I'll go around, find an image like this where there's a lot of white. Because as it is, it's got a, a white background on it, I can't use that. So I have to um, <clears throat> basically extract the fo the image off of the background, and then it, it'll uh, I can have a transparent image where there's nothing around it. So like like a cutout. I think somebody had mentioned uh, something about a cutout. And that, yeah, that's uh, basically what it is. So I use the wand tool, magic wand tool. So I'm gonna press it. No, oh, it's gonna do that. When I press it, it's, it highlights everything that's in, in the white. Uh, it didn't quite work because uh, it grabbed uh, a little bit that I didn't want it to grab. So I have to undo that. And so just bear with me for a minute so I can fix that up. The only way I can fix it up is to darken up the rabbit. Because the tool that I was just using, it was reading this part of its head to be sort of the same, almost the same tone as the white, and thinking the white was the same tone. Anyway, I'm not going to explain it. Uh, so let me try that again and see if that works. Oh yeah, poop. Didn't work. So that's not going to work, so I have to go back to... Uh, well, that one will work. So I have to go back to Google and... Uh, uh, I just saved the image on my, my desktop so I can delete it later on. So I'm not going to use it, and then it opens up. It automatically opens up in Corel Photo Paint, which is not Photoshop. It's Photo Paint, and I, I'm real clear about that because it's Canadian, and, and I like to use Canadian products if I can. Um, and Photoshop is a, a an American product, so. <laughs> All right, so let's get little Mr. Bunny uh, going here. I'm going to try it on this one. Perfect. So I don't know if you can see in the little video here that there's a line going all the way around there. And that, that's what I want it to do. It's a, like a marquee. So uh, what I can do now is I can copy, uh, and press uh, Control and C, which is copy. And all it'll do is it'll copy just the rabbit on my clipboard without all this this white stuff and I'll show you how I, I get it on I'll get rid of him I'll show you how I get it onto a photo and what I do with it in a photo so let's try it on what no uh, I'll try it on this one this is in the barn of the house so I press Control V which is paste because I want to paste now I want to paste the rabbit onto the image for my clipboard and voila there's the little rabbit so I don't know if you can see him. Yeah, you can probably see him. So what I can do now, because he's transparent, uh, well, he's, he's just that he's, he's like a cutout, uh, I can place him anywhere I want. Uh, I can sort of resize him. I can't do resizing a whole lot in this program because it'll, it'll blow the pixels apart. Um, but uh, because he's a little rabbit, I'm gonna make him a little rabbit. So I'll make him kind of small. Uh, small things are, are better sometimes because they're harder for people to see. And I'll find somewhere, let me get this out of the way. I'll find somewhere to place him where it is, it's hard to notice him. And uh, where, where it, someone who notices the rabbit might think, oh, that doesn't, what the heck is that? It doesn't belong there. So uh, if it doesn't work, then I, I just stop and, and I, I will remove it and then I just go ahead and finish it like I normally would. Um, and sometimes it works. So I put them like maybe, uh, geez, I don't know. Well, I'm, I'm way down size too, so I, I can't do that. Uh, have I got another pick? So there's a better view. You can see what he looks like and you can see how I can move him around. And uh, what makes uh, a lot of this stuff, doing this more realistic, 
is uh, if I put him, say, right here, well, right behind him is, is a board that's part of whatever this machine thing is. And I'll erase part of the rabbit so it looks as though he's behind it. So I, I give it a sort of three-dimensional kind of look. Uh, as though he's he's in behind, and then and then people, it's more interesting. It looks more realistic. Actually, this is where the rabbit was. He he came out of there somewhere. So maybe I'll I'll have him jumping through the air or something, leaping at my throat to kill me. Yeah, I'll put him somewhere. Nah. Okay, so if I were happy with him there, which I'm not, I'm I'm going to change him. Uh, what I'm doing very quickly right now is I'm just going to adjust uh, the brightness and contrast for the rabbit so he, I don't want him to be really bright because he, he's going to stand out and he'll look like an east he'll look like a painted Easter egg sitting in the middle of a barn so I don't want people to know, really easily notice him I just want him kind of hiding somewhere and I'll, I'll put him up here so I've got him up there uh, I do a double check in my preview mode I go here, and that's uh, without all the uh, user interface uh, all around. And you can see he's he's sitting up there. Um, when I get to, if I were getting more into it, and I was going to do that, I would put a shadow underneath him so that it looked uh, more realistic. Uh, and then next, I just have to uh, grab one of my signature stamps. Uh, I use this guy. So there's that that dog thing that I used. I sort of keep a few of them on one thing there and I have a, oh it's not here um, I have a whole folder of, of zombies and Disney Disney characters and all kinds of stuff um, that I've used in the past and, and sometimes I've had a um, I've posted a few uh, uh, pictures up with Easter eggs on them and, and nobody got them I don't usually you know go and type in oh yeah there's gonna be some Easter eggs so go look for them I wait for somebody to, to see them. Sometimes they see them, sometimes they don't, because a lot of people don't actually look at all of the photographs in the post. They just look at the post, and then they click like or whatever they click. Anyway, so that's my little signature down there. Oh, I already have one up there. I didn't know, so... Darn. Okay, and I've got my little rag. I'm going to move him. He shouldn't be there. I'll, I'll put him over here. Over here, yeah. I'll make him like he's running away somewhere. And then what I do is uh, I, I, I save the uh, image by uh, exporting it. And then I would have a copy of it and then I would close this. So that, that's how I stick something like uh, that in there, this little bunny guy here. So he's gonna look crummy when I, I make him larger. He's all out of focus because uh, the pixels blew out. So that that's kind of how I do that and uh, Again, it, it sort of makes things interesting. I try not to overdo it. I don't do it a whole lot because then it gets a little bit, yeah, you know, tiring for people to look and go, oh, okay, yeah, great. He's got another demon in his uh, photos again. Here he goes again, right? Blah, 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 yeah. So anyways, that's how I do that, all right? Hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, and I'm going to get back to work on finishing up this set and then posting up the barn of the family that disappeared. And no, they didn't actually disappear. <laughs> All right, bye now.